Hello everyone, my name is Akhilesh and I'm here on Apti Plus platform for geography and environment. So let's begin today's topic and today I'm going to discuss about uh, pressure belt on this earth's surface. So if you see the pressure belt, how it is developed on earth's surface. So near equator, as you know that throughout the year there is a high temperature condition and due to high temperature there is genesis of low pressure. High temperature leads to uh, air that start rising up and that's why there is low pressure which is generated over here and this is why this is called as equatorial, equatorial low pressure belt, equatorial low pressure belt. When there is high temperature the air become rarer and become lighter and start moving up. So the surface area is going to have low pressure. So the surrounding air start converging over there and there is development of intertropical convergence zone, intertropical convergence zone. And this low pressure area is actually generated because of temperature. Hence, it is called as thermal in origin thermal in origin. This pressure belt is because of thermal in origin. Fine. There is another pressure belt that is called as polar high, polar high pressure belt. And this polar high pressure belt is because of very low temperature. So at pole, you are going to have low temperature and due to this low temperature, the air become denser and denser air tend to sink over there and hence it develop a high pressure condition on the pole. So this polar high is again going to be because of this uh, temperature, hence it is thermal in origin, thermal in origin. So these two pressure belt on the earth surface, uh, it is thermal in origin. Apart from it, when there is high pressure over here, so certainly air will start moving from high pressure to low pressure, high pressure to low pressure. And that's why there is a genesis of another pressure belt which is called as polar, subpolar low pressure belt, subpolar low pressure belt, subpolar low pressure belt, okay. So this subpolar low pressure belt is because of movement of air because polar easterly are moving from high polar pressure belt to low pressure area and that's why subpolar low pressure belt is dynamic in origin, dynamic in origin, dynamic in origin, fine. And another pressure belt which is developed in between subtropics that is called as subtropical, subtropical high pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt. This is subtropical high pressure belt, subtropical high pressure belt. Again, the subtropical high pressure belt is dynamic in origin, dynamic in origin. How it is going to be dynamic in origin? it needs some explanation, dynamic in origin. When any pressure belt is because of dynamism of air, we call it dynamic in origin. What kind of dynamism is going to be here? Let's find it out. And for that, we need to understand the tricellular meridional circulation. Basically, this topic is covering the entire pressure belt and tricellular meridional circulation. So, this tricellular meridional circulation is because of the pressure belt created on the earth's surface as well as movement of the air. There is horizontal movement of air which we call planetary wind that is of three. Worldwide it is trade wind, it is westerly as well as polar easterly. And when there is a convergence of air, then there is a rise of air which is called as current. And there is rise of current and horizontal movement give rise to tricellular meridional circulation. So let me explain the kind of cell which is going to be formed on these 
pressure belt and what are the reason of genesis of these pressure belt you understand this thermal pressure belt let me explain this dynamic in origin pressure belt fine so if you see the horizontal division of one of the hemisphere suppose that this is going to be the zero degree that is equator here it is 30 35 say for i am uh, depicting the northern hemisphere 30 35 this is what the subtropical belt then there is 60 65 which is called as subpolar and 90 degree this is going to be called as polar area so as i told you that zero degree where there is low pressure generated low pressure why low pressure because of high temperature as i told you it is low pressure belt or equatorial low pressure belt it is generated because of high temperature so what happened there is a wind which is start blowing from polar high pressure belt to this low pressure area and there is this this wind is called as trade wind this wind is called as trade wind this is trade wind fine another trade wind is coming from the sub tropical high pressure belt of southern hemisphere and both are meeting over this low pressure high temperature zone it is also being called as itc jet it is also being called as it c z that is what inter tropical convergence zone inter tropical convergence zone when these two air converge over here because of low pressure these are the area of high pressure i will tell you why it is high pressure dynamic in origin and our aim is to find out why it is dynamic in origin so when these two trade wind converge at itcz there is only one way and that is what they go start going up so they start going up reaching to considerable height in old books you will find they are reaching up to tropopause and they diverge over there there will be anti-cyclonic condition formation takes place and these diverge over there and they start moving towards pole but they sink at subtropical high pressure belt sinking of the air at subtropical high pressure belt is creating high pressure over here this is one branch of the cell that is of headley cell which is called as headley cell is sinking over here this is called as uh, headley cell and that's why there is high pressure and once this air is sinking over here it forms anti-cyclonic condition and you will see that there is least rainfall possible and this is the reason why the western margin of the tropics of all the continents are having hot deserts why because there is a scanty rainfall fine and this this cell we call it we call it headley cell headley cell okay fine in headley cell you will find this trade wind and this trade wind is blowing from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt equatorial low pressure belt is thermal in origin and this trade wind is blowing from high pressure to low pressure of equator low pressure of equatorial region trade wind the name trade wind was also having some historical connectives we will discuss in detail in the class why it is called as trade wind is that these are the wind bringing some traders what are the reason you need to find it out uh, you can comment upon it okay and rest will be discussed in the class uh, see this high pressure belt is created because of sinking of the air further let me conclude that high pressure belt of polar area so because of high pressure over here this high pressure created on the pole it is because of very low temperature over here so low temperature results what 
higher density air and higher density air likely to sink and sinking air create high pressure on the pole so yahan pe kya hoga bachche there will be sinking of the air and this air will create high pressure over here and due to high pressure this high pressure result one more wind which is blowing from polar area to the sub polar area and this wind is called as polar easterly this wind is called as polar easterly polar easterly another trade wind which is blowing from high pressure of polar area to low pressure of sub tropical sub polar area low pressure and this low pressure is actually dynamic in origin just like the high pressure of sub tropical high pressure belt fine so this low pressure is dynamic in origin because higher will be the pressure at polar area so from polar area wind is blowing towards the lower pressure area that's why this is the reason fine and once this sinking of air takes place there will be divergence of air one branch is moving like this to in form of trade wind another one uh, branch start moving like uh, this direction towards pole and this constitute westerly westerly is a wind which is well developed in southern hemisphere so this is what westerly and this westerly and polar easterly converge at this low pressure of subtropical low pressure belt and convergence result formation of another cell let me explain this so there will be convergence there will be rise of air and due to this rise of air what happen there will be formation of one belt and this belt is constitute formation one of one cell and this is what polar cell polar cell and this westerly is converging over here here also there will be rise of air and this rise is going to be sinking over subtropical high pressure belt another cell formation is taking place and this is called as feral cell feral cell if you see this three cell holistically you will find there is convergence of trade wind and formation of headly cell these are sinking over here convergence of westerly and polar easterly and there is sinking of the cell uh, sinking of the wind sinking of the wind is taking place at subtropical high pressure belt and due to sinking of the wind there is genesis of high pressure and this genesis of high pressure is called as dynamic in origin so what do you mean by dynamism here that the movement of air is causing this high pressure what is the meaning of dynamism here movement of planetary winds causing low pressure over here so this equatorial low pressure belt as well as polar low pressure belt these two belts are thermal in origin and subtropical high pressure belt and subpolar low pressure belt it is dynamic in origin so this is all about tricellular meridional circulation i would like to relate you with another topic which i am going to discuss is jet stream fine so wherever there is rising of air current some of the air mass left over here some of the air mass left over here so wherever you will find rising of air air mass will be left over there and two places are there where you will find this rising another place is here try to see the sub polar low pressure belt both area is going to have air mass which is going to be left so these are the left over air mass and do remember in the next video you will find it out this left over air mass is going to constitute jet stream thank you very much